Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at how diabetes and hypertension leads to chronic kidney disease. So before we start anything, first we need to know about a little bit about the anatomy and physiology going on in the kidneys. So let me get my pen here. So this is the kidneys, the gross kidneys. And then your kidneys is made out of uh, about 1 million nephrons which are the smallest units of your kidneys and this is part of the nephron which is known as the glomerulus and this is where all the filtering takes place in your kidneys. So this is your gross kidney, this is a zoom in picture of your kidney units and um, the physiology that you need to understand is that when whatever blood comes in here blood comes in here it has to go out somewhere so it either goes out here through the efferent arterio, efferent arterio, or it comes in through here, which is the blood that gets filtered. Okay. Okay. Now we understood. So let's go to how hypertension cause, causes uh, chronic kidney disease. So in hypertension, that's hypertension means high blood pressure. That's very high blood pressure in your blood vessels. So I'll just continue these blood vessels. So there's high blood pressure in these vessels. And as a result of that, your vessels have to compensate by thickening to handle this very high pressure. So your vessels thicken. And at the same time, because of this thickening, your blood vessels also narrow. And so as a result of this narrowing of these arteries, um, less blood is going into your kidneys. And as you know, blood is uh, required to supply oxygen and re remove waste from whatever organs it uh, perfuses. So because of this decreased perfusion of blood into your kidneys, there's actually something known as ischemia that happens in your kidney cells. So uh, ischemia means just, uh, just means the lack of blood flow to that area. And as a result of this ischemia, there's uh, inflammation where your immune cells come here to uh, attack the dying cells the, the cells that are undergoing ischemia uh, this inflammation involves uh, lots of chemicals uh, such as cytokines um, your inflammatory cells such as macrophages for me macrophages and whatnot but uh, all that uh, as a result as an end result of all that it causes uh, something known as glomerulosclerosis. Uh, glomerulo refers to your glomerulus which is this structure over here and sclerosis means hardening. So glomerulosclerosis is actually thickening and hardening of this part here of your glomerulus and as a result there's reduced glomerular filtration rate. So whatever uh, blood comes out here is reduced because of the thickening and hardening. So your GFR reduces. GFR is glomerular filtration rate and um, this is uh, one of the ways you categorize chronic kidney disease. So the lower your glomerular filtration rate, the higher your stage of renal failure. Right. Next, we'll move on to how diabetes causes uh, uh, chronic kidney disease. So in diabetes, is there's high blood sugar instead of high blood pressure, right? Let me get the pen. Okay, um, there's high blood sugar and as a result of this high blood sugar, uh, there's something known as highline arteriolosclerosis. Arteriolosclerosis means a hardening of your artery, arteries and um, because uh, blood sugar actually damages your arteries and for some reason, uh, it damages all your arteries but for some reason this uh, phenomenon known as highline Highline arteriolosclerosis actually affects your efferent arterial more. So your blood comes in here, goes to your efferent arterial. It either comes out, gets filtered here, or it comes out in your efferent arterial, right? So um, for some reason, this highline arteriolosclerosis affects your efferent arterials more. And as a result of that, let me get a different color maybe green okay 
So as a result of that, there's thickening inside your uh, arteries here. It's made of hyaline, so it's, that's why it's called hyaline arterial arteriolar sclerosis. So this is a result of your high blood sugar. And as a result of this, less blood can actually get inside here. And more blood gets diverted out here. And this is uh, this causes hyperfiltration. So too much it, blood is going through filtration. And as a result of this, your glomerulus gets damaged and the same thing happens you get glomerular sclerosis because of the damage. And the end result is the same as previously, reduced glomerular filtration rate. And that sums up how diabetes and hypertension causes uh, chronic kidney disease. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.